Come, come to the show when you fall. Celebrate life. This is the one thirty first edition. Also, the Haitian Flag Day edition. Before I wish Happy Flag Day to all of you, I want to remind you that no country in the world is more proud than Haitian when it comes to Flag Day. Because Haiti, 1803, became the first black nation in the world. And Haiti gets its independence from France. Last week, that was uh, the second time in history that Holland, François Hollande, the second president in France, who visited Haiti. You need to remember also Haiti is one of the poorest countries in the Western Hemisphere. And Haiti also has to pay France money so it can recognize its independence. Now, the Haitian people almost uh, all of them would like France to pay that money back. However, the president France on his visit in Haiti has pledged to Haitian people one hundred forty million dollars for education. One hundred forty-five. One hundred forty-five million dollars for education. Is that enough? Should France pay Haiti with interest? They owe them twenty billion. Uh, 20 billion. I hear a lot of uh, uh, numbers. So we are ready for this uh, uh, beautiful uh, debate. Uh, please, Pastor Ater, welcome us in Open the Prayer. Inclinons pour la prière. La voix de l'homme n'est pas sans pouvoir. Ce n'est pas à l'homme quand il marche à diriger ses pas. Hier, nous te prions pour ma bien-aimée qui sont là et qui s'écoutent. Faites préserve dans chacune de nos vies, Père. Donnez-nous dans nos cœurs le désir de vérité qui est en toi, agir profondément. Nous te prions de bénir notre peuple haïtien. Il vient de célébrer notre bicolore, le drapeau haïtien. Nous te demandons de unir ce peuple-là. Il a tant travaillé pour notre indépendance. Nous te demandons de bénir, bénir nos frères, les sœurs qui ont travaillé. Et nous sommes très bien d'être haïtiens. Et nous te remercions également le, notre émission Frédéric pour l'initiative de prendre à la, à la télévision de célébrer le drapeau haïtien. Nous te demandons de bénir. Permettre que ce moment que nous allons célébrer, de te diriger. De quoi tout comme pour que ton nom soit glorifié. Au nom de Jésus, nous te prions. Amen. 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 Uh, thank you very much. Thank you, Pastor Arthur from Boston. Thank you, Mr. Ouellet. Thank you, Floris Najen, our correspondent Haiti. Bienvenue à Célébrer la Vie. Bonjour. Comment va Haiti? Bonjour. Comment va? Ça va? I have a question for her. Allez-y, s'il vous plaît, allez-y. Allez-y, s'il Merci bien. Dites aussi au nom de l'équipe de Manchester de Celebrate Live, on souhaite à, à, à tous les Haïtiens bonne fête de drapeau. Et il y a M. Ouellet ici qui a une question pour vous. M. Ouellet, allez-y. Will you translate? The, the, the French government owes Haiti 20 billion in US dollars. They want to settle for 145 million. Should they? 
Il dit comme ça, et, et président, pays la France de Haïti, 20 millions de dollars. Donc, en, et la France d'accord pour le payer seulement 140 millions. Est-ce que vous pensez que Haïti doit recevoir l'argent ça? Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, he said that Haiti should take the money because that's what they offer Haiti. And uh, this money is going to be very useful for transportation, uh, for not only for school, for clean water, for everything else. I totally agree except for one thing. When someone owes you 50 billion in US dollars and they settle for 145 million, they need it so badly they have to take it. But remember, this is the poorest country in the Western Hemisphere. It will never come out of its, of, of, of its rut if people who owe it money does not pay their dues, their, their, their bills. So I, I understand why they have to accept it, but it's a sad day for Haiti. Thank you very much. Pastor, uh, before I ask you if Haiti had to settle for this amount, I want uh, to wish a uh, happy uh, uh, flag day uh, to my friends in Haiti, not in Haiti, in Chile. Uh, grand groupe y aurait les groupes uh, l'union fait la force à Chili c'est Alphonse Alma avec Eol Alma qui a dirigé yo donc uh, nous dit ça yo bonne fête Liline c'est toute uh, bonne fête Marie Diana c'est toute bonne fête André Robert Pierre bonne fête drapeau Alphonse Alma Chili bonne fête drapeau Wilfried Silves bonne fête drapeau Gerda Gedeon bonne fête drapeau Marie Joanne Desné bonne fête drapeau Pasteur et quelle est votre réaction Est-ce que la France doit accepter, Haïti doit accepter cet, 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 cet arrangement 140 000, 45 millions de dollars au lieu de 50 millions. Au lieu de 20 millions. Billion, yeah. En fait, pour moi, il va être une mistake si Haïti, si le gouvernement recevra 144 millions, il va surtout get 20 millions. That would be a big mistake. Uh, the Asian uh, administration had to receive uh, 20, 20 billion dollars, not only one uh, uh, 40, 40 million dollars. I think uh, uh, that depends the way they're going to manage that, uh, that money. Uh, I think for me, uh, the Asian government has to receive the, the, the debt that, uh, that uh, the French colony, the former French colony, Oh, AED, uh, about like uh, uh, to invest the money in in uh, in, 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 in to to build an airport, to build a hospital, to build a uh, to build a road, uh, to give a uh, Asian uh, whole generation uh, scholarship to study in French, uh, to um, to have uh, like a, a French television, maybe to communicate French and to. Uh, uh, in order that Asian more uh, comfortable to speak French, to develop a French language in it, the way they do in Ivory Coast, in, 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 in Congo. So that's why I want to, uh, to share. Uh, that's why I want the Asian government to uh, do it. Thank you very much. I get, I get your point. The money has to be spent not only for education, but for any other infrastructure. Mr. Ouellet did a great job because he reported for us in the video. We are going to show in a few minutes uh, a, the whole visit of the French president, uh, which his name is uh, Francois Hollande, to the Haitian island. Before we do that, I'm going to remind all of you who are watching us that Haiti is the first black nation in the hemisphere flag black free nation in the hemisphere haiti is one of the poorest country in that region in that hemisphere and haiti is one of the most well-known country also especially after the earthquake i remember the outpouring love and support and we should not, not only from uh, the american government from, from people around the world uh, Mr. and we should never forget that the, of the bountiful resources that exist in haiti back 250 years before Haiti became independent. It was a brutal plantation slavery that made it France's European nation's most profitable colony in 250 years. So they fought for their independence and they should not have paid the $20 billion. I do agree with that. I do agree with that. And I think that that's something that Haitian leaders uh, 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 could uh, uh, discuss that. 
Because uh, if you owe me, and if, if, if they condemn slavery, they can pay back. Or if they, even they don't want to pay their money back, they can borrow money for Haiti. Yeah, I, I, I hope that you can advise our at leaders. At least pay back 10%. This is not even 10%. Uh, I agree. And uh, whenever that people are ready, it's going go to play for us the historic visit. This is only the second time a sitting French president has visited Haiti, and for Francois Hollande, it's the latest stop on a regional tour. But despite the warm welcome from Haiti's president, Michel Martelly, the relationship between their two nations is uneasy at best. For many, the presence of a French leader is a painful reminder of a harsh colonial past. Haitian slaves led a successful revolt against France in 1804, but it demanded compensation to land and slave owners that many believe has crippled Haiti since. If Haiti is in misery today, that's because of France. That's why we're demanding France to compensate us for all the damage that's been caused. If Francois Hollande wants to visit Haiti, he has to come with restitution for the independence debt and reparations for the damages from slavery. We fought them for our independence and they forced us to pay them to recognize it. 
But like generations of French leaders before him, President Hollande only spoke of a moral debt and not financial compensation. Instead, he talked about investment in Haiti's future. France today wants to help in the development of Haiti. We believe in Haiti because you have considerable opportunity. Mr. President, you already mentioned you have such a young generation because you also have an impatient generation, demanding and wanting to work for the future. But civil rights lawyer Ira Kurtzban, who previously worked for Haitian President Jean-Bertrand Aristide, says France's obligation is clear. France does owe something to Haiti given the circumstances that the Haitian people see themselves in. They should have clean water, they should have infrastructure. These are the kinds of things uh, that uh, the French can help right away. Haiti was still paying off its so-called independence debt to France in 1947, and Francois Hollande's visit has opened up old wounds. Reparations are unlikely, leaving many to ask whether Haiti can rebuild relations with a former colonial power without compensation. Andy Gallica, Al Jazeera. Demanding France to compensate us for all the damage that's been caused. If Francois Hollande wants to visit Haiti, he has to come with restitution for the independence debt and reparations for the damages from slavery. We fought them for our independence and they forced us to pay them to recognize it. But like generations of French leaders before him, President Hollande only spoke of a moral debt and not financial compensation. Instead, he talked about investment in Haiti's future. France today wants to help in the development of Haiti. We believe in Haiti because you have considerable opportunity. Mr. President, you already mentioned you have such a young generation because you also have an impatient generation, demanding and wanting to work for the future. But civil rights lawyer Ira Kurtzban, who previously worked for Haitian President Jean-Bertrand Aristide, says France's obligation is clear. France does owe something to Haiti given the circumstances that the Haitian people see themselves in. They should have clean water, they should have infrastructure. These are the kinds of things uh, that uh, the French can help right away. Haiti was still paying off its so-called independence debt to France in 1947, and Francois Hollande's visit has opened up old wounds. Reparations are unlikely, leaving many to ask whether Haiti can rebuild relations with a former colonial power without compensation. After his historic visit to Cuba, French President Francois Hollande arrived in Haiti to become only the second French head of state that has visited that country since 1804. 
Now, Hollande said France has a moral debt with the Caribbean nation, but he fell short of saying it would pay back the huge sum that Haiti paid for its independence over 200 years ago. The money owed would amount to $20 billion today. Hollande says France will spend $145 million to help with development in Haiti. We believe in Haiti because you have considerable opportunity. President Francois Hollande visited Haiti Tuesday and pledged to help the impoverished Caribbean nation recover from the 2010 earthquake that left much of the country in ruins. Hollande is the second French president to visit Haiti, the former crown jewel of French colonialism until 1804, when it became the world's first independent black republic after a slave revolt. Former President Nicolas Sarkozy visited the country in 2010 shortly after the earthquake. But Haiti is now the poorest nation in the Western Hemisphere, due in part to an 1825 agreement that forced Haiti to pay France compensation for land and slaves lost in the rebellion, a sum now estimated to be as much as $19 billion. A small crowd gathered outside the Champ de Mars to protest Holland's strip demanding France return the money it forced Haiti to pay. We cannot change the past but we can change the future," Holland said in a speech at Port-au-Prince's Champ de Mars Plaza, where he and Haitian President Michel Martelly laid a wreath at a statue of Haitian revolutionary leader Toussaint Louverture. He pledged that Paris would spend about $145 million to improve Haiti's education system. During a stopover on the French Caribbean island of Guadeloupe earlier this week, Holland admitted that France owed Haiti a debt but officials later insisted he was referring to a moral debt, instead of a financial one.
behalf of my family, on behalf of the Light team, on behalf of Manchester Public Television, I want to wish uh, to all of you happy Haitian Flag Day. Bon fête drapeau à tous les Haitiens. Buen dia de bandera a los Haitianos. And don't forget to show up on Monday for the Memorial Day Parade on M Suite at 11 a.m. La semaine prochaine. We'll see you next week.